Welcome to Health Hush, your trusted source for all things health related. Today, we are delving into an important subject, gestational diabetes. We'll break down the facts in a clear and an accessible manner. Gestational diabetes affects different groups of women more frequently. It's more likely to occur if you have specific risk factors, including a history of gestational diabetes in a previous pregnancy, a family member with diabetes, previous experience with a larger than average baby or a high BMI, advanced maternal age, and a history of unexplained fetal loss. So, how do we screen for and diagnose gestational diabetes? We use two primary methods, monitoring blood sugar levels after meals and an oral glucose tolerance test for confirmation. Normal blood sugar values for diagnosis are fasting blood sugar under 5.1 millimole per liter and a 2-hour post-meal level below 7.8 millimole per liter. If these values exceed the normal ranges, it may indicate gestational diabetes. Specifically, fasting blood sugar over 5.1 millimole per liter, 1-hour post-meal exceeding 10 millimole per liter or 2-hour post-meal surpassing 7.8 millimole per liter can lead to a diagnosis. Individuals with pre-existing diabetes have specific monitoring requirements. With a 2-hour post-meal level exceeding 11.1 millimole per liter serving as an indicator. When it comes to treatment, it's a comprehensive approach. It includes diet control, regular exercise, and when necessary, medications like metformin or insulin. In some cases, aspirin may also be recommended. Expectant mothers with diabetes or gestational diabetes require specialized care. Regular visits with a dedicated obstetrics and medical team are crucial. The timing of delivery is a critical consideration. Women with type 1 or type 2 diabetes without complications are typically best delivered between 37 and 38 weeks. However, if diabetes is fully controlled or complications arise, an earlier delivery may be needed. In summary, understanding gestational diabetes is vital for a healthy pregnancy. If you found this information helpful, please consider liking, sharing and subscribing for more health insights. Until next time, stay informed and stay healthy.